Hi, I'm Timia Presley. Thank you for joining me today. This week I would like to talk to you about how to take a class. I think I will produce more videos on this topic because this is a very important one. And I'm sure that many of you out there take Pilates classes and uh, I hope that these tips will be helpful for you to get the most out of your Pilates sessions. Yesterday I was teaching a mat pilates class and I was teaching an exercise called roll up. This is the one where you lie down on your back and you start reaching the arms forward and up and roll up from a, a supine position on your back all the way to sitting and then into a forward bend over your extended legs in front of the body. And this is a tricky exercise. This is one that's really not everyone's cup of tea. Imagine if you have any issues with the flexibility of the spine, any issues with your lower back, you will not be able to comfortably roll up and perform the movement. In the class, I had many students who have been taking my classes for a long time, and usually that's when I start to expect that people naturally opt for the version of the of the exercise that is better suited for their body types. But there is one thing in group classes that is really hard to manage, which is that wonderful flow, that wonderful group dynamic. And it takes a lot of discipline to go against that group flow and not follow what the instructor suggests and do the version of the exercise the modification of the exercise that's best for your body. In the case of the roll-up, that's going to be either working your way up step by step and for example work with the legs bent, legs tabletop, holding on to the back of the thighs and just rolling up a little bit all, all the way to that spot where you feel the rigidity of the lumbar spine most likely and then release back down. So you can work your way up slowly or you can choose to start out in a seated position, hold on to the back of your bent legs and slowly start tilting the pelvis back and rolling back into a C-curve type position and then come back up the straight and slowly work your way down into a supine position. And then ultimately, hopefully, you would be able to connect those and be able to roll up and down. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Not being able to perform an exercise isn't about strength certain postural types don't do well with certain exercises and you can work on coming close to the exercise but sometimes some exercises will not be accessible for everyone so i would like to encourage you with the example of roll up to remember when you take a group class to always opt for the option version of the exercise that's really best for your body instead of doing exactly what is um, suggested um, by the instructor. And often an instructor will also break down some modification options. But when that doesn't happen, maybe the instructor is busy focusing on another side of the group, don't hesitate and just opt for the version that's best for your body. I hope that um, this little tip is helpful for you. Please apply it in a group setting. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you next Friday when the next video comes out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you're in the DC area, book your private Pilates session with me through my website. Thank you. Bye bye.